welcome to Moms on a Mission. If you have not subscribed to our channel, hit the subscribe button below and also hit the bell notification so you know whenever we upload a video. I am coming to you today from the book of James, so grab your coffee. We're going to get into chapter 4. And this is about God's grace um, to those that humble themselves before Him. Where do wars and fights come from among you? Do they not come from your desires for pleasure that war in your members? You lust and do not have. You murder and covet and cannot obtain. You fight in war, what, yet you do not have because you do not ask. You ask and do not receive because you ask amiss, that you may spend it on your pleasures. Adulterers and adulteresses, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity with God? Whoever therefore wants to be a friend of the world makes himself an enemy of God. Or do you think that the scripture says in vain, the spirit who dwells in us yearns jealously, but he gives more grace. Therefore, he says, God resists the proud, but gives grace to the humble. Therefore, submit to God. Resist the devil, and he will flee from you. Draw near to God, and he will draw near to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners, and purify your hearts, you double-minded. Lament and mourn and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning and your joy to gloom. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and he will lift you up. This is such an important and powerful word for those of us that are in Christ Jesus um, because pride is just so rampant um, around the world. I mean, I think that's something that everybody deals with um, at some point or another is pride and we have got to go and humble ourselves before the Lord. Uh, he will exalt us. We don't need to exalt ourselves. God will exalt us. We just need to humble ourselves before God. He is almighty, all-powerful. He is merciful. Um, he works everything for good for those that love Him and are called according to His purpose. So uh, we should go out and we should, we should not make plans in arrogance. But we should always try to remember to say, if the Lord wills, you know, or if it's God's will um, that we do these things, that these things will come to pass. And um, that is placing our life in God's hands and allowing Him to direct our steps. So I hope this has been a blessing to you, and I hope that this has um, cleared up some things when it comes to uh, being prideful and humbling ourselves before the Lord. So I hope you have a great weekend. The Sabbath starts this evening. And um, those of you that are observing it, I hope you have a peaceful Sabbath. And God willing, I will see you on uh, Monday. Have a great weekend. Shalom. Bye.